Hello, people being a bit. Um, like being a fair bit. But uh, I just thought we'd just doing other stuff in the background, you know, so I sort of forgot about this series for a bit. Let me just quickly sort something out and we can get going. Okay, we can get going now. Just need to pull that up. No, I'm using a different controller, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, of course. You hit me a bad enemy design! You hit me a bad hitboxes! Oh, uh, God, I love when you click to do one thing and the game goes, despite you looking directly at that, we're just gonna have you randomly attack the side and kill you because. Reason! Reasons! Oh, spooky! Yeah, I'm absolutely taking the mech out of that, because that is actually stupid. It's like, this game has some questionable design flaws, and it's always like the targeting with simple small weapons that makes me go, like, lift the brow, because it's like, I, I clearly hit you. It doesn't help I'm using a new controller. You get it. You're completely immune to logic. Like the worst enemy design in the game. I'm just gonna be real with you. And goodbye. Bless me. Okay, now I gotta try and get the skip. <coughs> so I need to run up quick and get. Oh my goodness, my throat went weird. I was, I was speaking and my throat went, Ugh. But yeah, play this smart. Be intelligent. Open the gate. There we go. Play this intelligently and we'll be fine. Um, activate that first and then we can take him out. They're gone. Well, they're still alive, apparently, but you get... Well, actually, no, I've got the blocking ring on, haven't I? Probably should be using the parry shield more. Oh, and i got enough to use the ladder here to get the item down there. Why? Uh, uh, Fear, do you actually have uh, to talk to him to unlock the lock? I think you uh, do. Uh, cool. You know it's cheap. No, man. And it's a different looking armor set. Oh, traveling merchant actually looks decent with it, you know? Well, mostly decent. Okay, there we go, we got a twinkling tie night. Gonna be completely useless until after this save is complete. But you you know it's just like that but twinkling tie night, you know? Ooh, that was close. Now I go play this smart.
Okay, wait. Hopefully, for them to make it to the top, so I can poke them to death. Yeah, I can exploit dumb mechanics too, like ladders. Not giving you. Now, that's the one thing in this game I always say. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? To, like, not be invulnerable when coming up a ladder because you have stuff like that happen. happen. And maybe in, like, PvP. Oh no no! I thought that got me. Oh, I almost had a heart attack there because that could be him to kill. They like, glitched out. Oh yeah, they're down. They're good. No healing. Great design. Do oh, I love it? Do I love that you can just be like, yep, you get hit no matter what. Like, I'm not gonna defend that enemy design, that is bad. Like, that particular style of enemy is why I dislike Elden Ring. Because every enemy is like that, it's just like. Oh, we're gonna hit an attack that's very hard to dodge and very hard to get around because it's just like, yeah, nah. I could have literally waited a bit and got his armor. Wow. That's actually kind of sad. Is it their quality? No, actually, it's not. It is lighter, and I guess technically overall it's better quality. Yeah, you know I'm gonna come back to the way I came from. I, I I think that's better. I will say, despite this being one of the better weapons, it definitely does get like you definitely should invest in buffs for it. Now if you're doing a proper like level playthrough, because I'm probably not going to be leveling up anymore. Well, it's probably the height of leveling I do, unless I absolutely need it. Because I'm below 3,000 and I sort of want to keep it like that with this character. I love that you can't block like mid attack, you literally force to just eat those hits. Like, I wish you could block mid attack. It would at least, if an aware player is playing, it will prevent you from being absolutely scumbag. Oh my goodness, is it good? It's trying to do some cheesy rubbish there, like just go back and forth, constantly to prevent itself getting hit. I actually didn't know about this wall for a fair bit. At least when I started playing again, I didn't remember it. And then I like realized at some point, I'm not sure if I was watching a guide on how to make a certain build. And I came across it or something, I forget. See the rock. I might have actually just came across it on pure accident as well. Like there's always that. Also, this water does not drain instantly, so if you're doing a speed run of the game, you act and you want to kill all bosses and that.
chest for this dude. Do I have any flame buffs? No, but I have a... uh, I guess I'll give magic. I guess lightning buff would be the second best. Because it's the safest bet. you're going to want to start moving because the Jester's there and he's going to absolutely demolish your health bar. That's range on it. I did not actually expect it to have that good of a range. Oh, that, that was easy. Like, this boss fight is always a joke when you have a summon with you. So really, if you want it to be difficult, you probably want to not bring a summon with you. But even if you don't bring a summon with you, I believe it's still predictably easy if you've got the right weapon. Like, I imagine, like, with really quick weapons, with, like... I don't know, what's the term? Uh, like, with fire buffs, so... I imagine that would probably shred them, like... I guess June Lonesome probably would definitely get big. Even this weapon, like, fire buff it, you're probably just gonna go like, through, through their health bar. Or just be a pyromat to yourself. One good thing is I hopefully don't have to worry about the random disconnect of the controller anymore. Because this control I'm using doesn't have an ability to disconnect the levels from the base. Which might mean it's slightly lesser quality, but I, I, I prefer slightly lesser quality to just randomly not working. Is that it, to see that? However. Okay, here's my mayonnaise. Drink up. It's a nice... I, I'm not even going to finish that joke. I'm not even sure where my brain was going with that. I need to go that way. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have this part where I'm going to do the entire part here and it's going to be beating the Iron King and then we'll go the other way in the next part. Now, this entire part is dedicated to beating the Iron King. It could have been a much better boss fight, but I feel like they just sort of made with it. Yep. Now, how this works is there's two summon guys who appear. They only appear once each, but they appear every respawn, so it's best to let's get rid of them now. Which one appeared this time? Oh, it's the bad one. The questionable weapon. Like, that beam sword is absolutely abysmal than the hand. to fight mages, isn't it? There we go. This is how it feels to fight mages when they turtle, which is very rare. Mages are generally hyper-aggressive because they know they can't be punished half the time. Unless, of course, you've got the poke stick and you don't accidentally waste all your stamina. Of course, mages with lag are the worst. Oh yeah, I'm not even risking that shenanigan. That is cool how you can just walk out of range of certain attacks. I do like that. Ok, 
Okay, we're taking them out now. We can get the other person. Just be careful with the mage because he can hit the energy sword and he can hit the um, beam attack, and both of them will nuke your health bar. This one is slightly annoying for a different reason. Because they have an annoying amount of range, because I believe they use like two puzzling swords, or they use a puzzling sword and a whip. Both of which are very irritating to deal with. Okay, they should spawn any moment. There we go. Oh no, they use a regular sword and a whip. That's right. Well, they're not. I'm guessing I'm getting really lucky with this AI passing because they're not acting now. They maybe it's because I'm being more passive. Yeah, I'm not giving you that back stab. Maybe it's because I'm acting more passive so they weren't doing their usual technique. But not passing the same way, so I'm staying within like proper melee range, but not really getting in melee range. So I'm guessing that's what happened and why they were being very weird there. Because usually for me, they spam the puzzles, but they didn't have some kind of confusion. I'm not used to them doing that. It does seem to have a little bit of a third attack, which I guess sort of helps, but it's like very annoying when like you got an enemy that requires very precise parking. I could take this phone. I could just yoink that, but I'm not going to. I'm not an idiot. Two ways I could do it. I could try and get that dangerous guy there to get across and get up there. Or I can go around taking out all the bowmen. I'll be like watched out fire completely sideways. What even hit me? Oh, I love when you hit by thin air. Oh boy, is that hit? Oh, that came directly from above. I love that. Okay, that reach is absolutely dumb. And I'm out of heals because of that. Oh, that's lovely. I'm now after gonna get a perfect on smelter. As long as I don't get screwed over by some shenanigans. Oh, 
I'm about to be like that hit me. Stressful. I'm going to play it smart and allow them to whack themselves on it. hit me though. I totally did the face you Am I willing to do it this slow? I am indeed. I'm ex I'm absolutely willing to do it this Okay, game. Here's a safer way to do it. I didn't realize I had full health. Pee back, I'm an idiot. Wasting stuff. Oh well. So that was decently effective, even if it wasn't the most effective. Hey! 
Chains. I just needed a tank to eat those shots because I'm sucky at dodging them. Oh, that was really, really stressful because I don't need the charm. Dragon charms are actually pretty good. I'm, I'm going to give it that. I did not think dragon charms would be that useful. And I believe there is a way to grind up like infinite dragon charms if you want them. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that. I can go in there now and also get the item, but I'm not going to go in there. Ah uh, yes, I can hit you if you can't react to that. You will love that. I only clicked it once, but it's your game. Get this down. Run. Keep the distance. Sure, how he hit me. I like, gotta love those perfect aim snipers, isn't it? Who, no matter what, will never miss a shot. I think it's cheese and both the pack where you just goes. Oh, there's a second one? Oh, I'm I forget there's a second I use this route so many times and I always forget there's a second one. I still think their open is absolutely cheese though. Because it's like, how am I meant to react to it? It's just like, pew! And really, again, this is another reason I dislike Elder Ring. Because it's like, this game might have one or two enemies or three enemies that are like that but Elder Ring's every single enemy just feels like they have those kind of openings oh is that something to his spear? oh yes do I love the aimbot? oh bugger you too Oh, he's got the chicken wing. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. So I'm pretty sure he's using DLC weapons. That's kind of weird. So is he like a DLC character? It's actually confusing. Oh, yes! Got ya! Yeah, not so smug now, are ya, Mr. Collector? Oh, never mind. Completely useless, but I'll use it because it was sort of hell. I could have just used the Ferris lock stone up here and got the heal pool, but yeah, isn't it? There we go, that'd be like, give me the max attack.
No, I gotta love when the backstab just doesn't work. There we go. It worked that time, so I guess with this weapon you have to do it on a slight angle, because otherwise it doesn't refuse to work. Sort of annoying, but oh well. Not the worst path I can take. Okay, this is a really slow regen, but... careful because this control is a little bit more sensitive than I would like. Okay, now we just give the begin the long and tedious process of killing them. Okay, he staggered onto the platform. Well, that's not good, but oh well. Okay, now I just need to avoid being one shot. Because if you land this wrong, you're insta dead because of the lava there. Now I'm going to be smart. I'm going to go like this, and then like this. Oh, that almost killed me. Gotta be careful. Okay, that's done. Oh, my health still regenerating. Okay. Oh, do I? I guess I could use. No, I think I used to. This conundrum. I guess I just have to avoid being hit. Okay, now it's time to repeat the process because uh, we have another enemy and this is really like, well, I actually like the design here. It's like you got to sort of avoid being hit. Like it makes you think. running like a man and you actually have to think out and be sort of logical in your movement. Okay now I need to be smart, run along the edge here. I don't think this is my best playthrough of the Iron Keep. I, I believe I have done some better. Now grab you before I disable just to be safe. In case like, I can I don't feel I can be but I think the Humanity thing still active. I'm not sure. No, don't have it active. I have a sublime bone dust I need to burn. Also, definitely don't be an idiot and spin that because I'm not sure if its range gets increased. I don't remember. I think it doesn't, so you can technically spin it if you're right on the edge. But it spins so quickly that I don't think you can actually move in time. 
less face, so it's more like a suicide tactic if you're an invader, like just to quickly get them. Bless me. But it's more like a suicide tactic if you're an invader. Oh gee. Man, we do that. Okay. Are uh, you you gonna help? I well mistimed that. Oh nice some armor. I also should probably get the ring of blades too after this. It takes a while to go over here, so I think I have more than enough time to slap on a bus. Completely, like an idiot. Oh, how did I dodge that? I, I will never know. I rolled right into that. I guess when people say there's no dodging in this game that you need to level that, they're clearly wrong. Actually, I need to check my DAP before saying that. Oh, no, 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 Oh, I do have a DAP. Never mind. I stand corrected. You do need to level a DAP to dodge DAP. Oh, that's a completely random attack. That's a really rare attack to try and hit. That. Do not get hold. Range on that. Okay, one more hit would be good. Oh, he just killed him. I, I don't think I've ever had him kill him before. Okay, GG, mate. That man actually got a kill for one. Like, I don't think I've ever seen him beat the old Iron King himself before. That's completely new to me. Also, I, I, I feel like I bash Elden Ring a lot when I play this game. But it's not because I, I think Elden Ring a bad game that I bash it. Well, that's part of the reason. At least in comparison to the other games in the series. Excuse me, excuse me. More. It's more just how monumentally disappointing Elden Ring was. That's my annoyance with it. But the game was so monumentally disappointing that it's like I can't help but mock it when I see people. Like, I, I actually watched a bit of the Game Awards and I laughed. People got annoyed that Elden Ring didn't win best narrative. And it's like, Elden Ring doesn't even have a narrative. What are you on about? And when I say narrative, I actually mean a story, a plot. Because people can make semantic arguments about story and plot when it comes to Elden Ring. But let's be honest here. It doesn't have one beyond the bare bones. Like, it's pretty much, hey, this is plot. Go off into the world. And that's not really going to... Like, that in no world should win you best narrative, as far as I'm concerned. Like, just saying, hey, here's Pop going to world. Like, I, I I, just, I'm like, there's so many better games when it comes to narrative that it's like, even if they're not good games, they definitely outclass in narrative. And that's the thing. People seem to confuse best game play or best um, world design with narrative and it's like, I very much disagree. The 
all because narrative comes under the dubious requirement of okay you should probably hit me like all because narrative comes under the dubious requirement of visual or written storytelling that doesn't mean that everything written or visual is a story and that's the thing like people try and flimsily use that as an argument as to why um item descriptions are a narrative but it's like nah there's a bit more context to the description of written or visual storytelling you know it's not just legitimately a written or visual thing like there's a bit more to the context it's not just Oh, is it written and visual? Because if that was the case, then if it was written or visual, then you could argue that a painting of a sock is a storytelling. It's like, technically it's visual, but it's not a story, is it? And that's the thing. And you could literally have a sock with a bunch of random letters thrown on. And technically that's visual and written. But still, it's not a story. And that's the thing a lot of people have to realise. It's like, just because it says that does not mean you literally take that as the be-all, end-all of what it means. If you, if you get my drift. Like, I, I feel like people need to realise there's a difference between explaining history of your world and explaining the plot. And by explaining the plot, I don't mean just regurgitating lines, because, again, there was literally a character in Elden Ring who literally just regurgitated lines, and I absolutely despised him because of how boring he was. Not to say there ain't good narrative moments about Elden Ring, like, there are. It just is they were added to updates, because the quests weren't even finished. Okay. There's... I, what we call... Do you seem to be a we? And that... They're off and we're each. Oh, did I not talk to you before? I forgot Do that. You have the joke you will face if you need... When you face protection... I see. If you... I, I just want your gesture. May you find... But no, like... There are okay or good narrative points in Elden Ring, it's just they're poorly explained, they were added for updates and generally I, I just don't respect that kind of thing where it's like you have to add, if it's added for a DLC fine, but if it's added for an update, I, I just despise people who do that who like wait for update bloody bar to actually understand the context of this it's like, you might as well just had it as a written piece of throwaway text at that point Especially with how they're actually revealed, because Java was a cool idea. It just is tedious to do, though. And you can only really do it at, like, the very end of the game. So it's, like, it is very tedious to do. Anyway, enough of me ranting about Elden Ring. I do this too much as it is. I hope you enjoyed, people, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Now get out of here before I parry you. I can't parry you for the life of me, but get out of here before I do it.